Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, here in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio by Mr. Geraldo Neto, who is the Vice President of the Telecommunications Management Group, Inc., TMG, uh, as well as being Chair of Working Group 6B here at the Radio Communication Conference. Mr. Neto, welcome to the studio. Thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about your work as Chair of the Working Group, and also, what does the Working Group do? Thank you. Well. This, this working group is very uh, intense and important because it's basically under this group that we are discussing all the new agenda items, so, which means every single aspect that we are going to be studying for the next four years uh, for WRC 27. And this covers all the different uh, services. So you can imagine how many uh, different interests and how many people are involved in that. And I think, uh, and I'm super glad to, to be having that experience in chairing that group. Uh, our position there is really to facilitate the discussions. Sometimes those discussions are a bit uh, intense and we, we have some divergences, but I think uh, the importance for me as a chair is really to be able to listen to that uh, and um, provide some guidance in terms of how these people can converge in some ideas. We are halfway through that discussions and hopefully we can get to good results. Now, a lot of people have gathered here for WRC 23. Uh, it's uh, very much a, a multi-stakeholder approach, let's say. It, it engages governments, regulatory authorities and industry. Uh, how successful is it in finding consensus on the issues uh, that are discussed here? I, I still believe that the process we do is, is the correct one when we involve everyone. Uh, of course, we have government uh, officials, we have the industry, uh, we have everyone that is from the sector here defending their own positions. Uh, some of them are focusing on very specific services, but when you look at the government entities, they need to understand their national uh, priorities. And when we get to here at the WSC, uh, we need to try to find uh, the commonalities of that. So, so I believe having this, which it's an open process uh, to all to give their voice and uh, express their concerns, and having this consensus building process leads us to at least a common understanding then. Everybody will, will feel that they may not have gotten everything they wanted, but at the end, I think it's the greater good that we're achieving here. Looking at the greater good, there's been a deliberate effort to encourage more women actually to participate in the work of the radio communication sector from your working group experience. Is this effort bearing fruit or is it a work in progress? Well, it is bearing fruit, uh, but it's, I think it's, it's the two. It's, it's still something we need to work on. Uh, I have uh, both the experience in the different groups in the ITUR, but also in the regional groups where we are having the network of women, exactly to support not, we have a great leadership here, uh, but support uh, the, the new entrances in the new participation. Uh, I think we are creating that safer uh, environment for that, uh, but it's still, I think it, there is a next step to it, which is, um, I think uh, incentivizing the, the delegations to, to actually provide more leadership uh, with women and training them to participate more. So it's a work in progress, but I see a lot of evolution on that. And, and myself, I mean, my girlfriend, my boss, they are all women and they, they are in the sector and they, they see uh, how important it is that we increase that participation. Let's talk about the conference itself. What are you hoping will be some of the outcomes, the principal outcomes from this conference? Well, uh, when we are looking at these new agenda items, I think some of the discussions we are having are related to the current ones, but we see some, some, some lines. Well, for example, in, in the satellite sector, we see the increased uh, regulatory provisions for non GSOs because, of course, there is a lot of interest, a lot of new companies there. So we are, we are trying to look at new applications, new frequency bands. We have also on the satellite side, on the mobile side, uh, this discussion of direct to device communications, which has been going on uh, for the past year. So it's interesting to see this uh, here at the WSC as well. Or from the terrestrial side, on the mobile side, there's always uh, what is next in terms of mobile broadband. We're talking about frequency, potentially frequencies for 6G. And uh, even in the scientific services, we have uh, new interesting applications like space weather, we are talking about lunar communications as well. So you see uh, in all the sectors, there are some uh, new interesting uh, things happening and hopefully by the end of this, we can have a successful outcome. And, uh, and also a, a successful 2027 as well that you're preparing for. Correct. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being with us in the studio. It's been a pleasure talking to you and hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels like SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.